a question. Uh, we are reading in the, uh, it's my first time here in Bangladesh. And uh, we have, when you came to a country, you have some ideas of, of some things that you are listening or you are reading about uh, a country. And uh, in the sector of industry, uh, I think there is some wrong ideas in some parts of the world that are not good for Bangladesh. And uh, Bangladesh maybe have different realities, but is, is, there, there are very good examples. We see one good example today of an industry that respects the human rights, respects the, his, um, his workers, and uh, that is a good appointment for this visit. Uh, in terms of the free and fair election that I mentioned, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, what we look for when we're uh, visiting other countries is that the rules uh, that govern the elections in that country allow everybody to vote unhindered, that nobody is pressured or forced to vote in any particular way, or indeed forced not to vote uh, either. Uh, also that anyone who is entitled to stand is free to stand and is allowed to stand. But most importantly, I think that the rules that govern elections in that country are followed and are enforced. Uh, it's no good having uh, rules that allow candidates to stand or allows people to vote if when it actually comes to polling day they're not allowed to be carried through. Uh, from what I've heard, talking to uh, political leaders in this country, I'm confident that your coming elections will be free and fair, and I'm looking forward very much to seeing the end result. Uh, in my opinion, I think um, uh, we would all agree on this, no country can prosper, no country can be peaceful if it is not a democracy, and if the democratic will of the people is not carried out.